Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, a big fight in boxing coming soon with the face of boxing, which uh, many call uh, Canelo Alvarez. Right, Canelo Alvarez is a, is a well, I mean, division three, fourth division champ, right? Um, you know, 154, 160 champ, 168, and he's even won a title in 175. So, yes, four division champ versus Billy Joe Saunders. Jenny, Billy Joe Saunders is a two division champion, 160, 160 pounds and uh, 168 pounds. So, you know, it's going to be a unification fight at 168 on May the 8th, you know, the uh, date that's very important to Canelo and his Mexican heritage, right? <clears throat> So that's the big fight that's coming up. Many are talking about it. Uh, not me. Uh, I think, bottom line, there's absolutely no reason to watch that fight. In my opinion, I know how I am, and you guys know how I am. There's no way in the world you should be watching that fight. That should be the fight that you're boycotting for all the reasons, right? There's no reason you should write. That's make a statement and don't watch that damn fight. If you are going to watch that fight, then stop the hell, the damn complaining, right? Because then you're not standing for nothing. That's all the reason in the world to not watch that damn fight. The way it happened, the way it's there, the people that are being ignored and we're watching that fight, no one wants it. First of all, bring us, it's in Texas, where, where Charlo comes from, right? We're bringing Europeans to Texas instead of just fighting somebody that's a champion that's more formidable that's from Texas, right? That's, that's just one reason. It's a whole bunch of them. Let's just start a Billy Joe Saunders, right? You know, you just got to think Wheatus, right? Billy Joe Saunders is probably the reason why Wheatus made that song, right? I mean, by, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then, you know, figure out Wheatus, right? Put it in, Google it. They, they, they made one hit. And it was talking about people like Billy Joe Saunders. First of all, Billy Joe Saunders has been doped, right? So that's one reason. Right? The people that I'm talking about that Canelo should have fought have never been doped before. That's one. Right? Right? Another thing. Domestic violence. You know, Billy Joe Saunders is in the damn, uh, in the damn internet telling people how to beat up their women. Let me get this. Beat up their damn women uh, in, the, in the middle of the pandemic. Y'all know I done wrote this book. Go get it. It's in, in Amazon called Slap. I've talked about it many times. Now, you know, I took the time to write it. You should, you should go support it, right? That's one reason. Y'all know I ain't with him, domestic violence. Now, there's 300 damn pages I wrote, which means that domestic violence irks me. So that's me. But it should irk a few people, maybe a few women who thinking about watching a fight because you're Canelo fans. The other dude is a, is a dirtbag. Who, 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 you know, damn near promotes domestic violence, telling you how to beat up women in the internet, right? <clears throat> He's done other dirtbag stuff with, with the lewd act, telling a crackhead to do something to another person for a couple of hundred dollars, I think it was, right? And just other stuff. He's done some stuff when COVID came out with some with his boys on an airplane, told lying to the air, airplane that uh, his boys got COVID. You know, just, you know, he's just nuts a little bit but that don't mean he can't fight don't get me to get it twisted it's just he's not a great person all right or he's just you know hasn't learned how to be a great person yet he's still in the learn phase but he keeps the reason why he's not learning is because nothing happens to him right he got banned for that domestic violence issue thing or the lewd act right and he was banned for for doping but what the problem is is when he gets back they still put him in front of the other ones that's sitting there playing by the rules, like uh, Demetrius Andre, right? He's sitting there not doped, begging Canelo to fight him for way longer, right, for six, seven years. No, we keep going back. He does, well, imagine somebody goes to jail and they come out and they still pass you up because you're still obeying the rules, abiding by the law. These guys ignore the law, continue and to get opportunities. That means they're not learning anything. If your kid is spoiled, Right? Who do you point the fingers at? Not really the kid. You point them at the parents. And the parents would be you, the fans, or the law. And none of them are making these people being held accountable. That's why I personally, hell no to this fight. It's ridiculous. Like I just mentioned, Andre sitting there. Now, if, if, if Billy Joe Saunders would have fought Andre in January, February, and beat him, 
then this fight would be all of that. It would be huge. Because that would mean Billy Joe Saunders finally beat somebody. And, oh, he beat Andre and he's got some momentum. But you ain't coming off Martin Murray and somebody before that. And then, we, you know, we're supposed to get a, a, a fight with Canelo. And Canelo just, whatever. Right? So that's with, with Billy Joe Saunders. Canelo, too. Another reason to boycott this is the WBC president. Right? Wherever he is, that he is so rogue right now. Coming up with belts and, and, and just just doing one ridiculous thing after another. I'm boycotting him. I don't give a damn where he is. Wherever he is, no, no, out with you. He has way too much power. He's destroying boxing in front of our eyes. And forget him. Done. He's done enough. Right? Till he's out. Uh-uh. If he's got something to do with it, boycott it. Period. That's how bad I think this guy is. You're not going to just keep just making up stuff as we go along. Right? Canelo Alvarez. He's been doped twice. People forget that. We'll still call him the face of boxing. Do you want your face of boxing to be doped twice? Right? Yeah, I know. The Trump fans probably would. They don't care that he's, you know, extorted the Ukraine and everybody, every damn person around him is a criminal. They don't care. Right? So maybe that's what it is. Is you're just going to let Canelo be doped twice and we're going to act like we didn't see that? Right? Right? He won't fight. Andre Charlo at 154 or 160 move up to 168 and ban those other guys from fighting one of these guys Right first WBC y'all got rid of Benavidez. Okay. Now I'm gonna go fight and yield him Get that title uh, uh, Billy Joe Saunders you better not fight Andre right Kyla Plant you I'm fighting you in September You better not fight Benavidez right and then we can do that. Who the hell is this? It's just a boxer man It's a boxer. That's all it is right ridiculous that is uh in, in the media with this fake ignorance like they don't see what's going on right it's it's a farce this whole crap so no i can't support canelo alvarez right now right and can't support billy joe saunders right now or probably ever until i see some repentance you see what i'm saying right and, and it's a lot of other people right like this uh teofimo lopez Oscar Valdez, Robert Garcia, Tyson Fury, Billy Joe Saunders, right? Those people, and most of these guys I mentioned, I, man, you know how much I love some Teofield Lopez. You know, beat the hell out of you, then flip when he finished. But what happens is, and same thing with Ryan Garcia. All Ryan Garcia got to do is talk. And I'm like, man, I love this guy. This is going to be it. But what happens is they have that S-O-N, that son conversation, which we're going to shit on Negroids conversation that they get with the media and the promoters and all of that they get that conversation and then you pick a side you realize that this is wrong what's going on to these other dudes but hey as to my advantage so then you pick that side and once you do that then you don't care Teofimo Lopez is in here understanding that he don't have no damn undisputed belt he knows that he knows it why it came first of all he was the easier guy Right? That's who Lomachenko wanted to fight him. He was easier than Devin Haney. So Lomachenko begged the WBC, the president, Maurice Sullivan, to give him the franchise, a.k.a. Charlo Belt. He does. He gets beat. Lomachenko gets beat by Teofimo Lopez. Now Teofimo Lopez can act like that's undisputed. And everybody's playing the damn game. And then we're going to sit here and we're going to watch his fights. No, we're not. Not we. You. And that's what you don't make a, take a stand. I will. Right? But I'm only just one consumer. But I'd be damned if I'm going to watch any of those guys. None. Which means I'm just it for me. It's just whatever with this damn sport. I am not watching any one of them. There's no interest in those fights until they do what they're supposed to do. To boxing does what it's supposed to do. To I see them on TV doing what I'm supposed to do. That last thing, Demetrius Andre versus Leon Williams. And they over here talking about Charlo. Instead of telling you that the man been trying to get Canelo forever, you're talking about Charlo. He's not even on the zone. Won't even say Golovkin to the end of the damn uh, broadcast. Ain't happening. None of it. Right? So you either, either you're going to boycott this stuff or you are a part of the problem. Because you won't boycott the stuff. Right? The zone is ludicrous in the first place. They should have told Canelo good riddance. When the good riddance, if you ain't going to fight nobody, we sure ain't paying you no $365 million for you to not fight nobody. You sitting here uh, complaining because we're just asking you to fight another fighter. We're calling you the best in the business and you won't fight nobody. 
And you arguing with us. You arguing with Golden Boy just because he said, hey, man, that sooner or later you're going to have to fight Charlo and Andre. Canelo gets mad at him. Right? Damn it. Shoot. Old ass Oscar De La Hoya about thinking about fighting those guys. You know, just to prove a point. Right? This franchise title. Another thing. You see any brothers wanting that? You remember what Deontay Wilder said as soon as that? Man, I don't want that. What, what is that? That's t saying, I don't, don't fight mandatories? Get the hell out of here. I want to fight mandatories. Get that fake stuff out of my, uh, my and you know, and uh, Maurice and Sullivan was happy. You know, to see Deontay didn't want it. Not only Deontay, no black people want that kind of stuff because that's not, it's for avoiding people. And blacks ain't trying to do that. Let's just be real. Thumbs down all you want. It's ridiculous. Do not watch Canelo versus Billy Joe Saunders. Right? It's not worth it. As a matter of fact, when Billy Joe Saunders beat David Lemieux back in the day, and beat the hell out of David Lemieux and looked sensational doing it, Canelo and his team didn't want to uh, fight him and call him a runner. Right? But the bottom line is we'd rather fight him than Demetrius Andrade or Charlo. And the media is trying to act like it's something going on there. It's ridiculous. That's what's going on there. So at the end of the day, I hate to be, you know, this obnoxious or not that obnoxious, it's not that. It's just basically I'm agitated, right? Because you keep, you know, people are playing dumb, right? And not only the people in the mainstream media, right? It's not, it's, it's filtering down to people. If you're damn in the internet, you don't have to be mainstream media. You don't have to cater to them. Tell what you see as a, a grown ass man with integrity. It's, you're not supposed to watch that stuff. That's done with those two. You watch it a couple of days later, but do not support that. He ain't getting supported here, right? I might talk about it a day or two later, but it ain't getting supported and definitely ain't getting watched live. And if I had to pay for it, which I wouldn't, right? I already got it. But even though I have that, the zone and everything, I definitely am not watching that damn fight, right? Not live. Don't with sports talk. Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.